Good afternoon. Welcome to episode 981. And the topic today is about the mirror. And I titled it basically, Are you afraid of the mirror? Are you afraid of what you might see? And I did say, there's hope. And I'll explain what I mean in a moment <clears throat> before I choke myself and then try it again. Um, I was actually on a conversation this morning, this afternoon actually, for a summit that's coming out shortly. So I've been posting about that. And you may have seen the link to it. But we're talking about mirror work. And so I thought, well, the reality is most people look at the mirror, or you sort of say use the mirror, to check out their hair, their clothing, how they look, maybe the skin tone, that sort of stuff. But do they really look inside? And do they look in their own eyes and look beyond that or see and feel into who they really are? That's a big ask, I know, and it's a big question, so I won't dive into that one. So um, I guess I'm already in it. I was gonna, I was gonna preface it, but I'm like, no, I'm in it. <laughs> but this is what I'm clear about. You know, I've talked about it many times and I've promoted it in my Facebook lives and I'll do it again. This one, um, that I have a self-love guided meditation that uses the mirror that I offer on my website all the time. But it's more than just that part. Because the thing is, to practice self-love in the mirror is a wonderful process. To look in the mirror and actually look in your own eyes and offer self-love to yourself. If you practice that and I have a guided meditation to help you do that, it will start to unearth layers, uh, peel back years of stuff that's basically been accrued. Because the thing is, in a way, what self-love is like, and I'm going to get into the other piece in a moment, but what self-love is about, largely, is in a way is to remove, like it's almost, it's almost doing like a do-it-yourself spiny bath, kind of sort of. Meaning that what you're doing is you're actually helping yourself feel better because you're clearing yourself out of the way of your old baggage. Because when you start to learn to love yourself directly in the mirror, what tends to happen is all that crap you've been carrying around, beliefs, judgments, rules, resentments, guilt, etc., etc., tend to have less weight. Love is a powerful agent. I've talked about this before with love. Um, was it healing is the application of loving it to the parts inside that hurt is one of the frame one of the phrasing phrases i heard from a master's program when we're doing studying my master's degree and it's powerful because when you recognize that love is that powerful it's not just affection or hallmark cards it's a powerful place to be because when we reserve when we um focus on and we reside in the loving we have inside something magical happens and it's nothing to do with anybody else i mean yes i'll talk about relationships in a moment probably but when you start to learn to love yourself fully and you embrace your own self-love, actually several things will happen. One of which is the stuff that's in the way of you being loving starts to fall away because you start realizing it's not real anymore. Yes, there's deeper work to do with traumas and healing past wounds, definitely. But generally speaking, when you start to love yourself and you start to really feel that love inside, you become more aligned to who you are. You really are. Not the beliefs, the rules, and the other stuff I mentioned earlier that have been laid on top like um, like a spackle <laughs> when you're fixing a wall. It becomes a solid wall again. I've talked before about how we don't heal past issues. It's like what, having a car where the rust is coming through the paint. You can cover up with more paint, but the rust is still there until you heal it. So definitely you can't avoid certain things. So you've got to do the work to heal the wounds that stop you being able to love fully yourself and anybody else. But the other part about self-love, and I talk about this as well, is when you start to really learn to love yourself, the um, early, well, let's say this way, the wiring that you have that has attachments to other people's love, affection, interactions, meaning that when you find yourself dependent upon them to feel okay, which a lot of us are wired that way, I was wired that way myself, Okay, let me say another way. I'm less wired now than I was, let's be honest about it. Because all of us are wired for codependency. It's in our, it's in our makeup because of the cultural raising. Very few people are raised without codependence because it's what parents do to children automatically. But the thing about codependency is it can get in the way of you being fully loving. And when you start to love yourself first, primary focus on self-love, and as I say in all my broadcasts, take care of yourself at the end of the broadcast because it's a simple piece when you learn to take care of yourself, where you have self-care and self-love together, the relationship you have with yourself will transform and elevate to a level probably unheard of in your own lifetime. And it requires all other relationships to step up to that level too. That means other people don't get to treat you like shit, for example. When you really own that space inside where you have this, um, that's what I'm looking for, recognition and power that your love is so strong inside giving you this um, resource everything around you changes 
all your relationships around you will shift because at the level they're playing at, you won't even be invested anymore. You'll walk away from them because you'll start to recognize how truly, and this is not from an ego place, but a reality place, how truly amazing you really are. When you love yourself, your self-perspective, your self-perception, your self-regard will change. Mirror work is a powerful tool, but many people are afraid of it because they're afraid of what they will see because of what they've been telling themselves for years that may have been actually somebody else telling them for many years that they then start taking over the self-talk to mirror what somebody else said, not a play of mirrors. So the fact is when you stop listening to that voice because you start looking in the mirror and seeing yourself as you really are, when you look at yourself in the mirror clearly and see that what was said about you was not true, key learning there, things start to unwind and shift. But so many people are caught up in the paradigm of being approval seeking out there. I've been there myself, I know what it feels like. And how seeking approval out there is a never ending task, a never, never filling bucket of desire, the need for that. And it's not healthy. So while loving yourself first, bringing it all back inside is a massively transformational experience and a truly healing paradigm because when you love yourself first, fully embracing who you are, if you're single, you'll be in a healthy place to start with. If you're in a relationship, it will change the relationship completely. And it may mean you leave the relationship. Because if your partner doesn't step up to the new level you're playing at, the new level you're standing in, the new level of love you have for yourself, they don't deserve you. Honestly. This is part of self-empowerment in a way that you may not have realized before. Loving yourself is not about ego boosting, because there is that sense of self-empowerment by ego. You're going to get it done, going to crush it, and make it happen. That's nice for this part of the brain. But this part of the body, the heart, truly comes from loving yourself first. And by doing that, you elevate your self-esteem, you elevate your self-regard. And it's not ego-fueled, as I said, it's heart-fueled, love-fueled. That positioning, that, that placement of self-love is a guaranteed transformational moment in your life. Now, let me do a quick, a quick delineation, because some people buy into the fact, well, if I love myself, I'm too, being too selfish or egotistical. If you're loving your ego and you're stroking yourself, energetically speaking, that's not healthy. When you love who you are, your beingness, that's actually more than just the ego up here, because ego doesn't live up here. When you love yourself fully, embracing your heart, your wholeness, your beingness, that's a different experience than being selfish or ego driven. Now, and all I'm talking about here is about that positioning down here in your heart, honoring and owning that. If you know anything about heart math, or there's another teaching that talks about this where the heart's radiance, the field of magnification and the power of the heart is at least 10 times that of the mind. Your heart's more potent as an organ, as a, as a central awareness device, system, not device, system. It's more powerful. So why not fuel it? Why not give it more power? Why not give yourself more power by doing that too? Self-love is a potent agent of change for your life. Self-love is a transformational agent for your life and for your beingness, and it will change every single relationship. So why aren't you practicing it yet? And don't just mean, oh, I love myself. That's nice. But as I mentioned at the beginning about using mirror work, and I'm talking about self-love and mirror together, that's why self-love guided meditation will do for you. There's an audio track for AM and PM, so you can use it with my voice guiding you. When you love yourself by using the mirror to practice in, as in looking in your own eyes, face to face in the mirror, seeing yourself, really seeing yourself, not how you're dressed, not what your hair looks like, not what people tell you about yourself. You start seeing yourself for real in the mirror and you tell yourself that you love yourself. Magic happens. And if you do it for an extended period of time or extended period of days, which is what I recommend in my, in my guidebook that comes with that self guide, self guide meditation, you'll discover transformational uh, moments in your life and your life will change forever. In a good way, by the way. And it will change every single relationship around you because those relationships will become much clearer to you where you get benefit and where you don't. When someone is taking from you, you walk away or you retrain them. And one more piece I want to drop in because I forgot about the codependency piece. Codependency, I've talked about it many, many times in my talks, but understanding that codependency comes from a place where you believe you lack something that somebody else needs to supply you to make you feel okay, disappears when you love yourself. It really is that powerful. Self-love is one of the most overlooked, underrated, and extremely mistaken approaches because people don't do it. 
Love yourself first before you love anybody else. Love yourself truly and watch everybody around you change. I'm being emphatic and I hope you get my point. I thank you for watching this broadcast. And again, I'll put the link in the comments for my self-love meditation because frankly, if you're not doing it yet, buy it because one, the investment will motivate you to do it. And secondly, the audio meditations and the word book will transform your experience because you use them. When you do it for 30 days, your life will change for the better. I can promise you that. You gotta do it, you gotta do the work. So this is my daily Facebook Live, by the way. If you haven't seen my talks before, I do this every day, seven days a week, every day on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby on Facebook. And it's usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Sometimes it moves, but usually it's 5 p.m. Pacific time. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, where have you been? <laughs> if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day, as I said. So I've got a bunch of replays. So the archives are stored on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Um, Facebook doesn't seem to show all of them, so there's at least two or 300 there you can watch. If you want to watch all my broadcasts, I do, and by the way, like my page, please, on Facebook. Um, I do invite you to check out my YouTube channel, which is much more um, prolific, or should say visible, with all the broadcasts. So if you go to youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, please subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine, where every single one of these broadcasts is visible. YouTube's better at that than Facebook, just saying. So you can search over there by, you can scan through titles, keywords, search for what you want and get some help. If you want more help, reach out to me over social media, but definitely check out the link in the comments for my self-love meditation because it will help you change your life. I think you've been pedantic enough. I thank you for watching. And as always, as I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, I do this every day. As always, please take care of yourself for real. And with that, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.